Hi there. So this is a really brief tutorial and introduction to how states work. I found one of the best ways to convey the logic of states is to think of it like a traffic light, where you cycle through the color red and yellow and green. And when the light is green, you know, it can't be yellow or red. Uh, and uh, if you cycle through that logic for yellow and red, you know, you, you have the state of one color impacts the other ones, or when it is true, you have these certain conditions that apply. Now, to set up a state, first what we need to do is to actually put that state somewhere. So I'm going to have the state itself. I'll create it on this thing that I did uh, that's called group stoplight. So we'll call the state is light status, and we'll create it as a text field. So that way, when the light is red, I can reference that. When it's green, yellow, and so on. So let's go ahead and take that logic and now apply it to the actual bulbs of the light. And so what I'll do with that shape is to say it'll reference that state logic of this larger group. So when group stop lights, light status is red. And I can type whatever and I want there. I don't need to have put it in anywhere else. And that can be a tricky part of states. It's just displaying this when the state is matching this other thing. Now I'll change the color to red. And the default is just gray here. So what we can do is just take this logic and apply it to our two other lights here. So we'll paste our conditional formatting there and there and just update it to match. And change that to green. Okay, and now the thing is, this isn't actually hooked up to any workflows yet. So we want to have something that actually creates this, sets the conditional state for our group stoplight. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what I'll do is add an elements action workflow step here, and it'll be set state for group stoplight as light status is red. And we can copy this logic and apply it to these other three buttons here. And we'll just need to go back and apply our corrected logic for yellow and green in here. So that one was green, this one is yellow. Now let's go ahead and test it out. So you'll see as we click, it's cycling through those different things here. And there are lots of different ways that you can configure states. This is just a really simple way of thinking about it. And I hope you have fun exploring and you enjoy.